training my dragon! <laughs> yeah, what up? Mukbang, bong, bong, bong! Mukbang! Mukbang! Ni hao! Now, I know those are two different languages. I think that one is Chinese and one is Korean. Mukbang! Mukbang! Or is it mukbang? I, I probably bong. I think bong. I heard mukbang, mukbang. Y'all, I got this smorgasbord of vegetables here today. You talking about some muck, but mm, I'm going to start eating already. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody told me. I'm going to explain this to you first. Also, I got this pizza. Probably going to get that to my boy. I'm going to get that to my boy. I'm going to eat all this stuff. Shouldn't be eating this pizza, and I'll tell you why. Here's the story, guys. Wow, look at this. Got my favorite drink, Simply Peach. And I love Simply Lemonade. No sponsors in here. I just love this. I love this. Mom's cooking chicken and collard greens. No chicken in here. I'll tell you what, guys. Besides this pizza, <laughs> the only thing with a face is that nothing else. It's all this. I tell you what, guys, here's it is. I'm excited. Look at this onion. <laughs> Back to serious. You see these muscles, man? <laughs> I'm getting a six pack back. Greg Reese, Daniel Reese. And I went to get my tooth pulled, extracted, the other day. And this is serious, guys. I'm getting down to serious for a second. My dentist said I had high blood pressure, like 180 over 120 or 30 or something <laughs> ridiculous. She said I probably, I'm in stroke status. It's surprising I didn't have a stroke. She didn't really say that, but she said this chart said stop because the medicine they give me to numb my jaw um, put, boosts my adrenaline. And my numbers already said stop. So seriously, I'm 46 years old, I'll be 47 in um, April, April 20th, and she's telling me that I'm in stroke status, My that's, and I'll be eating a lot of this, vegetables. I eat a smoothie every day, generally, unless I go to New York. <laughs> anyway, I eat a smoothie every day, maybe twice a day sometimes, and I've been eating like that for a while. And I'm losing weight, lost 60 pounds in the last two years. I'm getting my six pack back, muscles coming back. You know, I'm at 190 ish. And I have to hear that my dentist says I could be getting a stroke. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this, not carpal tunnel, but cubital tunnel on this side. I'll tell you a little bit more about that after I do some bong, 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 bong. bong. All right, guys, here's what's going on. So, I took it to the extreme, as I do, if you know me, you know I get to the extreme. This is extreme. I was telling somebody, oh yeah, I just eat kale. I don't put no salt on it. I don't put no ham hocks on it. I just eat it. I don't got used to it. Really, I ain't got used to it, because this is the nastiest taste. Usually when I'm doing my smoothies, I mix kale and banana, and that that smooths it out a little bit. I always have some spinach in there. You know, and my kale. That's my general kale. You know, and I always, I love to have peach juice. You can't see this. Let's bring it over here. My table stretches way over there. No, it doesn't. It, stretch, it stretches about as far as my arm goes. That's the end of it. But I got some vegetables here. We're not gonna move because I don't have a camera guy. It's only me. Generally, when I like to eat, I, I drink my liquid maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes after. So, you know, they food can digest. But with vegetables, I don't know if you need to do the same. So today I won't. I'm just going to drink and eat. Look at this kiwi fruit, guys. Can you see this kiwi fruit? I don't usually eat the skin, 
but I'm doing it for you guys. I don't like to talk with my mouth full either. But since I lost my partnership, I had to get back on the grind. You know what I'm saying? I got to get back on the grind. So I got to do what they do in Rome. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I don't know if anybody's eating kiwi without peeling it. But they are doing mukbangs. A mukbang? Boom, boom, boom! He says, bang, bang, bang. I say, bong, bong, bong. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what. So she told me possibility that my blood pressure was so high was because I had ate something with sodium. And she told me that, uh, or a lot of sodium that day. And I hadn't had pot pies. I hadn't had canned soup and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Like, it was this meal that I had, this uh, soup meal that's in a plastic thing, complete meal. I haven't had those in months. And Monday, Sunday and Monday, I ate some. So I'm wondering if that's why my blood pressure was so high on Tuesday. I don't know. But I'm not taking any chances. On Wednesday, when was it? I'm not taking any chances. So she said, we're going to extract that tooth Wednesday. Great. You got to be ready, man. I love that dinner. I just met her twice. I met her once in December when I was supposed to get my tooth extracted, but I was going to New York. I didn't want to be all over the place. And um, then I just met her the other day when she said she couldn't extract my tooth. So she could have extracted it Monday or in December, but I was going to New York that weekend. And I just, I didn't, I wanted to make a great impression in the city of New York, Brooklyn, Manhattan. What? What? And I did. Everything didn't happen like we needed it to. But we got a lot of connections. And two weeks later, we went back. A lot more connections. I was on this national blog, Mademoiselle, Matt, not Mademoiselle, Matt, um, Madame Noir. A national blog, uh, 75, 800,000 people, pictures going worldwide. I loved it, so I'm glad I went there. I'm glad I wasn't uh, all my tooth stuff up in Brooklyn and up in China Hill or something. So, anyway, it worked out. But it held my tooth. It came a little bit more infection came back because I had some medicine that took away the infection. She saw that, and she said, Greg, you gotta be ready next week. You, your blood pressure has to be down, normal, because I can't do it anyway. Your tooth is decayed, so I may, it may break off while we're taking it out. We may have to do surgery, cut in there. I'm like, what? Are you serious? And I, I've had a, they've had to cut my tooth, my jaw once before. But that was because the tooth broke off and it was something, anyway, it wasn't her. But, so anyway, I said I will be ready. I will go to the extreme. By the way, I am not a any pepper fan, except for salt and pepper. I don't like any pepper. I hate that taste. My wife puts this stuff in our food up. ugh. I just don't like the taste. That's good. That tastes sweet, though. Mom took a chicken and collard green. I got this kale in here. Man, I got some grapes. Looking like Caesar. Up your finger. Oh, was it Caesar? Okay. I think it was Brutus, yeah. So, anyway. She said I gotta get it down, so... I said, I gotta be a YouTube star again. <laughs> and I said, mukbang, bong, bong. I'll do the mukbang. I love bananas. And this stuff tastes good. I, I've, I've learned to love fruit. Like I've never loved fruit before. In this last past two years, that's how I'm getting that six pack back. That's how these muscles are. Well, these muscles ain't really doing what I want them to do, but I still got to get some 
I might have to eat this pizza. What? Look at that whole pizza there. It's a whole pizza, and I'm probably not gonna eat it. It's, it's actually getting cold. I'm here in the studio, it's getting cold. That's probably a sign I won't eat it. I got a microwave back there. Carrots, good. This was an apple. This tastes sweet. I don't know what kind it was. Took off the tags. How to train your dragon. <laughs> I don't know how many that. I'm gonna have to cut that up. But y'all, this is a comfort food for me. Oh, I didn't take off all the tags. This is a comfort food for me. This is avocado. I used to really not like, what is the stuff that you make with avocado? Somebody's saying it right now. Anyway, that sauce <laughs> that you make with avocado with onions, hated it. In about the end of 2014, 2000, beginning of 2015, this, I love this thing. It's also a comfort food for me. They call it alligator fruit. I don't normally open it like that, but why not? <laughs> I usually use a knife. I love it. I usually eat it with chips. I see those chips over there. No chips today, guys. I gotta get my blood pressure down. Cause I, I really, I mean, I know I'm, it doesn't look like I'm taking this serious. Hey ladies! But it doesn't look like I'm taking this serious. But I really am. I don't need a stroke. You know? I'm 46 years old, four, almost 47. By the way, my birthday, somebody told me don't tell anybody, but it's cool, it's cool. My birthday is the same day as Hitler. I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. And Karma Electra. What's up, Carmen Electra? I graduated with you. I graduated with Carmen Electra. I know y'all say, yeah, yeah, but check the facts, baby. Princeton, 1990. No need to remind me. Graduated with Carmen Electra. She did go to a couple different high schools, or one or two. So yeah, someone may say, nah, she went to that other high school. And I say, she graduated with me. I saw her in the line. You know, back to the Karma Lecture, I got the mustard greens. Here we go. Is that kale or mustard greens? My grandpa used to love mustard greens. Well, one of these is mustard greens. There we go. I just dropped a uh, thing. I don't like those things anyway. Uh, but mustard greens, collard greens, kale greens. My grandpa loved this stuff. When we first created the garden, this is what. Ugh. What the heck is that? <laughs> Muffin glue. Woo! That's a spicy bee ball. What the? Whatever that is, I'm not eating that again. I didn't wash these good enough. Hmm. I don't know what those are. For. I'm not sure that, but I have mustard greens. You saw me, let's rewind it back. Mustard greens, collard greens, kale green. Anyway, my grandfather loved those things. When we first did this garden, after he stopped do doing the garden, we came back and did a garden. And those are the things I planted because it was a late plant. Mm, what was that taste? By the way, I'm eating on one side of my mouth too. That's another reason I gotta get ready because not only does she have to take this tooth out, but it has to heal so I can start eating on both sides of my mouth again because I heard when you eat on one side of your mouth, it just messes 
the order of things up. You know? I don't need to order things messed up. I hate these things, man. I don't know. This pizza is looking very good. You know, all this stuff could go on the pizza. Like I can put some spinach on there and just eat it on up. But I'm not gonna do that. So bananas are good. Carrots. <laughs> My grandpa used to love kale greens. Uh, mustard greens. Maybe that's what it was, because maybe it's a spicy mustard taste. And I just orange. Not a big onion fan. Probably should peel this. I know my grandma would say it. Oh my god. That's crazy. I never was a real big tomato fan. But I learned to love tomatoes. I used to have this turtle. I'll tell you I used to do it. Somebody let him go. I used to call him Speedy, believe it or not. Somebody out there know what I'm talking about. I used to call him Speedy, and the way he used to eat, we used to put tomatoes. We used to put tomato on the ground. Here go. It was so cool. And I never forgot Speedy. Somebody that lost him on purpose, they were mad at me. I let him play. Everybody knew on my little block. That was Greg Turtle Speedy. Someone let him go, he disappeared, looked for him half the, felt like half the night. I'm sure it was just like a couple hours. And I cried, Speedy was gone. I don't know, about eight or something. And then somebody brought me a new turtle because they knew that I love turtles and that one wasn't Speedy. But, I don't know. Anyway, so Carmel Electra. I graduated with Carmel Electra. Our birthdays are the same. I don't have the same status as Carmel Electra though. We had a couple of popular people. Um, you know what? This reminds me. I was in an Uber, a Lyft, and this one girl said she didn't like this, and I said, I gotta do it. So that was for you, Yolanda. I'm clowning. I told you I would do it. <laughs> I appreciate you. I hope y'all heard that. That was my ASMAR or ABCDEFG. I don't know. I really. Do you believe it was a health scare with this stuff? When I got this, I was like, is it good to eat? Excuse me. Is it good to eat romaine lettuce now? He's like, ah, oh, yeah. All right, we're back in December. So, if I post this video, and I'm not around to see the success, you know what happened. I'm joking. So all the romaine, all the romaine farmers, romaine lettuce farmers, I love you back. I've always loved Romaine lettuce. This is my wife's favorite lettuce. Ah, cabbage. Red cabbage. So I do, I do a lot of stock footage. And I got this red cabbage stock footage. This probably doesn't need to be eaten without being cooked. <laughs> Give me a second. One side of the mouth doesn't help either.
I wonder if it's this mustard green. What was that? That was so crazy. I got some parsley in here too. I need that because it's tooth, man. <laughs> I need parsley and mint and everything. It's tooth on those jokes. And when she said she couldn't take it out again, I'm like, oh my God. This is tougher than leather. Rah! But something tastes like orange. What is orange? What did I just eat? I'm not sure. It tastes like an orange. Speaking of oranges, I normally peel oranges. When I was little, that's how I used to begin to peel oranges. No home training, I'm sure. <laughs> not because of my mom. That tastes nasty. Orange peel. I heard orange peel is good for something. Or is that lemon peel? I don't know. Mm. You know how you see these old people that try to do what the young people are doing and they totally make a fool out of themselves? Mm. <laughs> At least I'm having fun. If I wanted to eat that pizza, I don't even think I could. I'm full already. We got some broccoli. I'm trying to get through everything, y'all. I'm trying to get through, what time is it? Got some broccoli. I'm gonna have serious <laughs> digestion floor flow tomorrow. That's for sure. I'm probably not gonna finish this guy, but we've been going for a minute. So y'all probably done. Y'all probably done with me. Let me see. Wrap this stuff up. Red kale. Spinach. I'm going to do it up. 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 I'm going to I can't imagine. <laughs> I'll tell you what inspired me to do this mukbang bang video. Mukbang was this young lady from Cincinnati. She had another popular YouTuber from, I'm not even sure where he's from, but she did a popular restaurant. He came into town, I think Detroit maybe. They did a popular restaurant that, that we've loved around here for 20 years. And I saw her doing this. I said, that'd be nice if I could do that. But I only have a reason. I'm not gonna eat a whole bunch of chicken and pizza and all of this stuff on camera. I'm not gonna eat a whole bunch of nothing on camera. But I really gave her props. Excuse me. Hmm. I got me some shakes and shivers. I gave her props for building up. She's building her channel. If you look at my channel, I have a lot of subscribers. I think she had more subscribers than I did. He had definitely had more subscribers than I did. Um, I'm not sure what her views were. My views are at about a little bit after a million. Kind of unbalanced because my biggest video is the Obama rap which was 10 years ago and I and I haven't really besides I got a few other things that may have made a hundred thousand or more you know but most of my videos are 20 30 thousand 50 thousand 60 thousand under a hundred thousand range you know and then after I've been here so long I probably should have a lot more but I used to spread a lot of my videos around so I had hits here, hits there. As you see, this video I'll put out later. Um, get some raspberries in this beret. So, 
that's why my hits wasn't up to par. But anyway, I really liked what she did working with this guy. And I was just like, man, maybe I should do one of those. <laughs> that remind me. I think it was like that. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Jim Carrey. All right, y'all. I'm getting loopy, eating all this stuff. I guess my stomach is so, it's getting small. My mom used to call me the human garbage disposal. When I was young, I would eat so much and I wouldn't gain weight. Then all of a sudden I just started gaining weight like crazy. And I went up to 260 or something, 250. And like I said, over the last two years, I got that 60 pounds off or more. Cause now I'm at 190. Getting my six pack back, muscles back. Graduated from Karma Lecture. My grandpa loves Kel Greens. Love my mom. Dad's passed away. Love my son, love my wife. All the conversations we should be having at the dinner table. This is dinner table today. All right, guys. Muck, bong, 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 or mook, bong, bong, bong. Whatever you want to say. He says bang, bang, bang. I say bong, bong, bong. There you have it, guys. It's Greg Reese, and I've completed, I ain't really completed. Man, if I ate this pizza right in front of this camera, <laughs> I'll tell you what. That would make it complete. I'm gonna get all this stuff up. Is there anything I didn't eat here? Whatever that mustard green, I think it was the mustard greens. I know it's not the kale, because I eat kale every day. I don't normally eat the collard greens, so it had to be the mustard green, but I don't think it was the collard green. What else I got over here? I hate the taste of kale by itself. These mustard greens got to go. That's these things. Mustard greens got to go. Let's try these. I think that's it. Those are gone. Those are in the trash immediately. Oh my gosh. And I used to eat those things? I know my grandpa said we used to eat them when we was growing up. I'm sure my grandma made them. I want to eat this jagged fruit, guys. Hey, bear with me a little bit more. I think I got more time on this car, I know it's like a 29 minute car. Or something like that. You know what, let's just open this mug. <laughs> dragon, I'm training my dragon. <laughs> hmm. I've never tried dragon fruit. Until then. Tastes pretty cool. Me too. It's got dots inside. Hmm. Look at this a little closer. I'll be right out. Can you see that? Pretty cool. All right, guys. I think I'm done. So. Thanks for joining me. This was the bomb smorgasbord of vegetable. Got that pizza over there. Not gonna touch it. I thought I was gonna eat it at the end of this video and say, guess what guys? I'm not gonna do it. Stomach's full. I'm about full. Still love avocado. Always room for avocado. Comfort food. I love you, avocado. I love you. I eat this with eggs too. Like, put on the eggs, so. Alright guys, it's Greg Reese. Definitely saying peace. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Or mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. So, if you have enjoyed it, Leave me a comment below, subscribe, 
click the notification bell. Follow me. Not sure if I'll have any of this again, but it was fun. I could eat more vegetables, like vegetables I've never ate before. Or, I mean, I don't, I do eat beef. I don't eat a lot of pizza, but I do eat beef. I eat chicken. I could do a seafood mukbang. I could do a chicken. I could have it all chicken and everything up on this mug. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it this week because I have to get my blood pressure down. Hopefully, this contributed to taking my blood pressure down a little bit. Just did a little bit of walking. It's snowing here in Cincinnati. So I was thinking about going out and shooting tomorrow video and images and pictures. And uh, let me get some exercise because really I got two or three days. I gotta get this blood pressure down because this tube has to come out. I mean, although she's giving me the medicine to take away any infection that can be there. I just don't want it in my body, man. It's a foreign object now. I've always had pretty teeth. I was, a, I was funny, I got a, I had a chipped tooth when I was very young. My mom fixed it and I chipped it again. Never fixed it after that, but it grew in. So my smile's been pretty, pretty much all my life, but now my teeth are doing what they're doing. So anyway, all right guys, Greg Reese, VIP, videos, images, and pictures. Great to see you. Talk to me in the comments below. Peace. Mukbang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do it. You gotta focus on yourself. Perfect. Yeah, you love my body cause it's perfect. Watch me work my body like it's perfect. Dr. Arnold's was a nigga like I'm perfect. About to get my six pack back.